Hello everyone. So tonight is the last night I'm going to have to do two readings and because I'm not going to do weekly readings I thought I'd just give you a bit of an up, update by element. So I'm going to start with the water signs and then I'll pull a card for each or maybe a couple of cards for each of the water signs at the end. So <clears throat> any of you who are Cancer Pisces or Scorpio or you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this reading is for you. I am using the Handsome Roberts deck. Okay. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords coming out at the front. So this is the general energy of next week here. So we're looking at the week of, where are we, 13th, 14th through to the 21st. Um, so there's something that you're a little bit worried about or something that may be concerning you here because you've got something on your mind. This is sort of like the not being able to sleep for worry. Um, you do have the sun behind it, so I'm really not quite sure why you've got yourself in this energy when there's nothing happening here. Um, it does look like there's an offer coming in from a water sign that looks very nice or you're about to offer someone something. Look, there's all these beautiful cards here. Why are you worried? Are you worried that... Um, Either uh, an offer coming to you is not going to be good or are you worried about offering somebody else something? Whichever way it is, it's beautiful. Look at it. You have the sun here. You have the ten of cups. So if you're troubled and worried about taking this step, please don't be. It's beautiful. Okay, so the first card we have out here is the two of cups. So the Two of Cups talks about two people meeting eye to eye. This is like soulmate energy. Um, it can also be a relationship that you have with someone that you're very close to. doesn't necessarily always mean lovers. Um, the Strength card is... You could be dealing with a Leo. But this is about getting things together. Really having your life together really understanding your personal strengths knowing yourself really really well perhaps you've done some work on your dark side but you're coming up as being very whole four of cups here so being offered something that you're not sure whether to take uh, the four of cups talks about boredom in Nui like it's not not wanting something more of what you've already have wanting something different Looking at how to put some sort of burden down here. Trying to end something with this Ten of Wands. Okay, so we're definitely talking about someone from your past here. There's a definite feeling that this is a past, past life or past relationship here. Um, it is divinely timed. It is divinely brought to you, divinely orchestrated what I said to you in the beginning there so I'm not really sure why you're worried about making an offer here um, but it looks like you've been doing a little bit of sort of soul searching trying to understand how to approach this situation seven of pentacles coming out here this is taking quite a long time to manifest water sign whether this is you or the other person whether the whether the energies are flip-flopping general read either you or the other person is taking your sweet time here but there is somebody about to send a message. There's some sort of message coming through, something that shows that somebody wants to speak something truthfully. And they're just trying to work out how they go about doing this here. So this reading just reflects the mini read at the beginning. There's some sort of worry and concern here. I feel like you've either been wanting somebody back from a long time ago, maybe even years ago, or you've been wanting someone back in your life that you've had some sort of connection with in the past, but it could still be past life here. But the universe is saying the time is right now for this to happen. Um, you need to put down your burdens, you need to move forward because you're very dissatisfied with what it, it's sort of like since you met this person or since you crossed paths with this person, no one else has come up to that standard or that level of person that you wanted here. It's almost like you refuse to take any other offers because they're not what you want here. Um, 
But the universe is saying like you've done a lot of work here because you've got the hermit card and you have the strength card which says you've done a lot of looking inside to try and get yourself to a good place. This is definitely taking a long time and you're finding it quite difficult now to work out how to come forward with this person and give them a message. So I'll, um, I'll just pull a card for each of the water signs and see how we go here. So we'll do Cancer first. Ah, oh, the universe is saying take three. All right, that makes it fine by me. Okay, so Cancer, three cards for Cancer. One from the top, one from the middle, and one, oh, that's nice. Okay, Cancer, looks like you have an earth sign that you want to offer love to here but your mind is so overwhelmed with this that you are finding it very difficult and I guess that goes back to the main reading here for you it's a lot of internal conflict here on whether this is the right thing to do and for others of you it could be you're waiting on an offer from an earth sign most likely a Taurus but you are waiting for an earth sign to come forward with an offer for you here and you're very conflicted about like where is this offer what's happening when is it coming in so there you go cancer if you're dealing with an air sign either they are wanting to come and sorry an earth sign could be an air sign too then they are wanting to come and offer you love but they don't know how to go about it okay so now we'll do scorpio one from the top one from the middle, <laughs> you've got your own card Scorpio, very clever, and one from the end. Okay, now if you're dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio, you've got your own card in the middle here. You're going through a transformation, you have to. You're carrying too much around with you. The universe is trying to push you into finishing and closing out a cycle here. You need to sort of let something die off here, something that you're holding back on. I feel like you're holding on to energy that really isn't serving you anymore. So um, maybe pain from your past needs to be let go. You're hanging on very, very tightly here to these ones and you don't want to let them go. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, that's why they haven't come forward yet because the reason they've been held up is because they're trying to close out a cycle and let something die off. I feel a very strong energy here of family issues, family problems. So somehow or another, Scorpio is trying to close that out. Okay, so for Pisces... Okay, we're ready. One from the top. Oh, very nice. One from the middle, even better. And one from the end. Oh, that put a stop on it. Okay, Pis Pisces, you could be dealing with a Capricorn um, or a Libra. Um, there's some sort of connection with this person that's very, very hard for you to sever. You have a very, very strong bond to this person. And I feel like you're starting to see them as someone you want to be with and you're working through some sort of energy here. The Temperance card talks of balance and it can come in to say that the time is right. Um, but there's nothing here to say you aren't ready to move forward, Pisces. But for some unknown reason, maybe this connection scares you in some way, that you're fearful of this connection because it's so strong. But with the Empress here, I'd say that this is definitely your person, but you're backing out through fear here with this Devil card. It's almost like this connection you have with this person is a little more than you can bear. But I'll leave you with that water sign. Thanks for watching.